What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another disc golf video. Today we've got a fun one for y'all. Um, I am kind of revisiting my bag. Uh, I feel like I haven't done that in a while and I feel like I have a lot of discs that I've always wanted to actually like, give a good try that, I, that feel good in my hand that I've wanted to throw. It's pretty cold out so I'm wearing these little runner's gloves. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna go through the bag today and then I'm gonna shoot around. I do have some, uh, I don't wanna say duplicates, but some discs that I uh, had in my old bag, um, obviously. So we're not gonna go over those, but like the Maiden and uh, the Justice. But there are some discs that I've played well with in the past and then have taken out of my bag to try new things and then kind of forgot about them. Um, one of those is this original classic Judge. Uh, this was the first putter that Dee Dee ever sent me when I started working with them. And I never threw putters at the time. Um, and I was playing in a tournament and I think I shot like plus seven. It was like my first tournament in years. Um, and uh, I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna try throwing the putter. And the next round I shot five down on the same course, literally because of this putter. And so I was like, I need to put that back in my bag. Um, I've got an Orbit um, judge as well that I, that I wanna throw. I just got this Vandal. I've been throwing another Vandal that you guys have uh, seen before. This Vandal right here, this Orbit Ricky one that I think you can only get from those boxes. And man, this thing's incredible. Um, but Didi just came out with the uh, Orbit. I don't know if it's ice or if it's just Lucid. Um, the Orbit Vandal right here. I just like the way that the Vandal feels in my hand. Um, it's just a great disc. Uh, and so I snagged this one. I was like, I want to put that in my bag because I think I'm going to enjoy throwing that. Um, I also have, obviously, y'all have seen the lower um, felon that I've been rocking for like two years now, still just as stable as when I got it. I also have a proto Ricky felon, and then I'm, I'm putting in one of these Lucid Moonshine ones um, for like backhand shots because throwing the normal felon on a backhand is just way too freaking stable for me. Uh, but I like the way that the disc feels, and this is a very understable felon. Um, so I threw this in my bag and I was like, I think I, think I might enjoy throwing that thing. Um, I have my typical stag, obviously. Got a Matty O stag in here as well. Also have my bounty um, in here, so that's not gonna change, obviously. Same with the Justice, you know, that's always gonna be in here. Um, but I did put this uh, Lucid or this VIP Ice Tursus in here. I have always loved how the Tursus felt in my hand. And this one is more stable than this bounty is. Uh, and it just, it just feels good. Like I've always wanted to throw this and I, and I was just like, no, I have a bounty in my bag. Um, but it's, it's, it's a good disc. Um, and the amount that I've thrown it so far, it's like, I really like how it feels in my hand. Um, this is from the Trilogy Challenge as well. This is a Saint. Um, and I've seen like Kristen throw these before and stuff. And I'm like, that disc feels good. It's a, it's a good fairway. I might throw this in there and see what we can get done with that. Um, I have thrown this, I, for, I freaking forgot what this was even, what this was called and for some reason I can't see it on the, oh, this was a mall. Um, this was a mall that I got lured to die. I've thrown this thing 460 feet before in a field um, and then I just put it on my shelf and it has this sick lure die on it and I was like, dude, you like, figure, like throw this thing more. Um, so that's in here. I've always wanted to throw the glory. This, this uh, disc just feels so good um, for backhands. I don't really like it for forehands um, because it's a little domey for me for forehands, but for backhands, it feels incredible. So I was like, I've wanted to throw that um, a good bit. Many of you guys probably remember my um, Carrot Sapphire. Sapphire is a beginner disc, but this was one of my longest throws for a really long time pushing like 460, 470 multiple times. Um, and I was like, why did I take that out of my bag? So we put that back in there. We've got this Fugitive that's been in my bag for a little bit um, in and out. And so obviously keeping that in here. And then I bought a new Grace because I didn't have, I lost my plain Grace. And the Kristen Graces are just super stable. Even if you beat them in, they're just stable. Um, and so I wanted a Grace that flew like a regular Grace. So threw this in here. Um, but we're gonna get into the round now and uh, see what we can do. Uh, I'm excited over the next little bit to play with this bag and kind of cycle things in and out and figure out what's working for me. All right, I'm gonna start off with this Ricky uh, Felon. It is pretty cold this morning. Um, and my forehands 
suck when it's cold. So we'll see how they, how they work today. I might end up throwing a lot of turnovers and stuff. Give me a flare. That is right underneath the basket. Oh yeah. This thing was parked. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so I am going to throw the uh, Matteo Chameleon Stag on this hole and see if it'll get a good little pan for me. Inside of those. Oh man, that was literally two inches from being brilliant. Yeah, so we ended up uh, coming off to the side here a little bit. I'm just gonna throw my slammer up there. Go in. <laughs> Be a par on this one. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna throw this Supreme Fugitive here on an Anheuser. Commit to it and see if we can get a nice full flight out of it. Oh yeah. That should be just a few feet away from it. Um, I also, just to see how it flies, wanna throw this felon here. This is one of the moonshine, lucid moonshine orbits. They're not stable. Um, at least the first one that I had wasn't. So I'm gonna throw this and see if we can get a similar flight out of it. Flare. Wow. I look like Ricky when I throw that felon. That was sick. Both of these were incredible. So fugitive right here. And the felon is absolutely parked. I love throwing a flex shot on this hole. It works so good. Two down through three. Okay, so on this hole, I think I'm gonna take this um, VIP Ice Tursus and throw it out on a hyzer. See if we can push up the fairway and uh, try to not end up too far left. That's gonna be too far left. Never thrown that disc here before. I, I'm going to try um, a forehand here with that felon right here. Give it some ante and it should hold it and we're just gonna hope that we can get some air and hopefully push down there a good bit. Oh Michael. All right, that'll be a par. So off of the tee, I needed to, uh, off the tee, I needed to just throw the tercis harder. All right, I'm just gonna try and sneak this felon through here again. <laughs> Hit the pin, that'll be a par. Ugh. There we go. All right, two down through four. Okay, so I'm gonna try and throw this felon um, flat at the tree in the middle, knowing that it should flip over just a little bit um, and push up there. And if it doesn't flip too much, then I should have a right side putt here. Oh my gosh, get up there. Mm, that was a really weird throw. So this is 284. I'm gonna try and throw this VIP Ice Tursus and uh, just like throw it down the left, hard and flat. Should go pretty straight, might turn just a little bit. In between the trees, oh. 
a little short. Okay. I think you guys will like this shot. Just a little, uh, just a little flick at the basket. Oh my gosh, that was bad. That's what I was trying to do. Why did I throw it like that? <laughs> that was funny. Gosh, sometimes this course your putters get so sandy on these greens. But honestly, it's giving it kind of a little bit of grip in this cold. All right, I'm gonna take my stable fell in here, throw it on a high hyzer, down towards the basket. Yeah, might be a little bit short, but that should be good. All right, for the birdie here. Good stuff. Three down. All right, hole seven here, 685. Par five, throw in the Sherbert Felon out there on a hyzer and uh, just trying to get around the corner. Yep, no tree sounds. That's what we want. I'm gonna throw this uh, Orbit Vandal here. Oh yeah. That looked incredibly good. All right, I'm going to go with the Justice forehand here over a backhand and just get it down there to the basket. All right, we just hit the one guardian tree, which is like five feet from it, so we're fine. Good stuff right there. I think we played that hole just right. So that's a, that's a birdie for us. All right, so the first one we're gonna throw is this Orbit Judge across there. Um, probably throw it on a hyzer. See if we can get close. Go in the basket. Man, that, uh, that hit the ground right below it. And then I'm gonna throw this classic judge as well, which honestly might have a little bit more glide for us. All right, all right. Good shot right there with this judge. I used to throw judges all the time and then I like turned into a someone who just liked throwing flippy discs like this maiden and I missed the consistency of the judge so I'm happy to have this back in. Okay, hole nine, 187. Water to the right, can feel a little bit sketchy. Um, I take my soft justice here and I throw it on an ante to the right of this tree and let it fade back towards the basket. Um, it's a fun shot, I actually really, really enjoy throwing this type of line. So let's see if we can pop this around the corner. Real nice like. Oh my goodness, Michael. Okay, well, missed that. Sit there so I can put it in, please. What in the world was that, dude? All right. Let's take this putt seriously, bud. Super awkward stance here. Like the sill is pretty steep. Whew. All right, good stuff. Man, I don't even know what that is, but I think it might be like maybe six down. Which wouldn't be too bad. Wouldn't be too bad at all. 
All right. Well, looks like we are six under through the front nine out here at the scrapyard, throwing from shorts with these new discs. I'm also trying to throw my slow down, throw, oh my gosh, slow my throw down. Um, but really what I'm trying to slow down is um, my pull through um, because I find myself trying to throw far and so I tense up and then that makes me not throw far. Um, and so I'm trying to like be a lot slower in my reach back or my extension and then all that kind of stuff. So seeing if that'll work, but six sounds not too shabby. Thank you guys for hanging out. I'll see y'all in the back nine.